The Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority is fronting a proposal to have Ugandans involved in the informal sector, such as taxi drivers, border border cyclists, farmers and small business people, get a chance to save for their future in the various pension organizations that they will subscribe to. The pension sector we have today only covers the formal sector. People like you who have salaries, so they can take off 5% and the employer gives 10%. That is not even 1.5 million of the Ugandan working population. So what happens to the other 12 or 13 million? They are not covered. So the reform government brings this to increase the coverage. Pensions regulatory body further seeks to oversee the day-to-day -day implementation of work in the various schemes such as National Social Security Fund, the Public Service Sector Scheme, the Armed Forces Scheme and other occupational schemes. This money you are contributing, how is it, how is it saved? What in savings instruments do they put it into? How is the money invested? And so on and, for, and so forth. But then who also is the one investing your money? The law has been introduced, is, has split roles in the pension sector. This comes at a time when some of the pension schemes have been involved in scandals for misappropriation of Uganda savings. When you look at um, what has been the return on the NSSF money between 2000 and 2010, over a 10-year period, the real return on that money was 0%. And it's because there's no professional management for these funds. Is that the way we want to go? As long as there can be a mechanism where we can ensure transparency, and I think that's the most important. As long as this person sees that you are transparent, then there will be no issues uh, uh, regarding you know, confidence and, and trust in, in your system. Even with this long-awaited liberalization law, whose bill is already in parliament, Ugandans have been asked to have private pension schemes by learning how to save and effectively invest for their future. So when we look at the pension system in Uganda, pillar three is a pillar that is lacking. And it is a pillar that takes personal initiative. Because if you want to have a certain standard of living when you retire, you have to put the money away today. So I think that it's really our responsibility and the responsibility of the regulator as well to encourage all the three pillars to be reflected in Uganda's pension system. Shamim Batalu, WBS News.